if you're talking about the 80s, what Vietnam looked like? We go to cities, you didn't see the light, electricity cut, no car in the street. Vietnam was so isolated from the world. With the Doi Moi economic reforms of 1986, the government hoped to move toward what is now called a socialist-oriented market economy. When the Vietnamese government asked for hands-on advice, the IMF did not refuse the call. Nếu như vào những cái thời kỳ đầu của những năm đổi mới, thì IMF có cái vai trò hỗ trợ về nguồn lực tài chính để mà giúp Việt Nam thực hiện cái cải cách nền kinh tế. If you use the analogy of Vietnam's economy as a eagle flying up, there are two wings. One is internal institutional reform and the other is opening to trade. Khi mà nhà nước mà quyết định đổi mới thì là một cái thay đổi rất lớn từ của một cái nền kinh tế hoàn toàn là rất là yếu ớt và nghèo nàn. Thế và lương thực thì không đủ. The government allowed the agricultural sector and also state-owned enterprises to start operating on a commercial basis and that was a major shift. Free to start their own companies, the Vietnamese people created more than 30,000 private businesses in the first 10 years, spurring growth that averaged 7% throughout the 1990s. If you look back in the late 80s and early 90s, we had the first FDI law ever, which opened up the opportunity for newly established private firms to engage in international trade. And that was complemented with a major push to attract foreign direct investment into Vietnam. And that has helped drive growth. Vietnam has done a pretty good job in providing universal education for its people. With that level of education, it's easier for the Vietnamese people to take advantage of the opportunity either brought about by domestic reform or by international trade. By every measure, Vietnam's internal reforms and opening to international trade have been a big success for the Vietnamese people and their quality of life. The economy has grown at about 7% per year since 1990, second globally only to China. Before we are low income economy, and now we become the middle income country with the emerging middle class. The driving forces behind all Vietnam's economic reform success lies in the effort to integrate into the world economy. In 1993, 60% of the population lived in poverty. And by 2014, that number had fallen to under 14% of the population. That actually lifted 40 million people out of poverty in Vietnam. Tôi rất là cảm ơn IMF và đặc biệt là IMF Việt Nam. Trong thời gian qua đã giúp rất nhiều về kinh nghiệm cũng như tài lực về cho cái tay cấu trúc từ nền kinh tế Việt Nam và đặc biệt là các doanh nghiệp Việt Nam.